Hey, what's up guys? I thought I would show you some of the more technical details about how I'm planning on building this Halloween time machine. So let's take a look so you can have a better idea of what's really going to go on on this ride. This is kind of an idea of what exactly it is that I'm trying to do. Uh, I want three LCD screens in it. So when you enter into the time machine, you have a left, a left viewport and a right viewport and then a center. And you can see I've got 5.1 surround in here. I've got one on each side here on the front and then one behind the people on the backs here, a subwoofer below them, and then a center channel. Instead of using it as a center channel, I use it as a top channel for stuff that's going on above the unit. Uh, this is so close together that if you have a left and right, you can just basically make a center channel by putting both sound out of the left and right in the front. Uh, this will allow me, when we go to the dinosaurs, to when the... T-Rex comes up to the unit and goes to the top of it, the breathing and stuff will come out of that top speaker there, out of the, out of the top, so it sounds like the T-Rex is above you. Uh, so this is basically what I had in mind for the inside of it, other than, you know, some window dressing making it look really futuristic on the inside of this outhouse that I'm going to build. Uh, other than that, on up here, on this side and on this side, Instead of it being metal, I will have it be metal spandex. And then on the outside of that metal spandex out here will be dinosaur teeth. And then whenever the dinosaur bites the outhouse, the dinosaur teeth will be pressed into this metallic spandex so it looks like it's biting and press indenting the inside of the, the outhouse there. That's, that's one of the, the things that I really want to to get done hopefully, uh, make it look like the dinosaur is biting it. Another thing I want to do is I want to put a vibration motor underneath the seats here so that when you're going back in time and stuff like that, it shakes the whole unit so it feels like something's really happening. Uh, so that's all this is. Uh, let me show you the dinosaur I got. I got it from this company, AGM Labs. Uh, it came fully textured and everything, ready to go in Blender. I'm using Blender, which is a freeware program for this. Uh, so I have this little dinosaur, which I can show you in Blender here. So this is Blender. And there's my little dino. There he is, right there. And... If I go to the camera's perspective, let's see, there's the camera perspective. Blow them up. This is the, just for the, the test of it, just to see if I could get it to, to work well. This was the animation that it came with, so I used it, which you can see here, just on the timeline here, they animated it coming up to the camera. I moved the camera so it's facing forward, so this would be, say like, if we're going on the time machine and Morris is on the, the left side of the time machine talking and trying to figure out what's going on, uh, the dinosaur ends up coming up on the right side of the unit and Morris doesn't see him. So I was planning on having him come straight towards the camera like this, come right up to it and then end up biting the, the top of the, of the unit and then Morris has to scramble to get you guys away uh, from the, the dinosaur era which pulls you forward into the next era. So that was kind of my thoughts on this. Uh, I'll, I'll put the, the final test video of this at the end of this video so you can see what the dinosaur would look like uh, placed in real footage, which is what I plan on doing, going out in the woods and just filming the woods and then adding this dinosaur into that. Uh, for the Medieval Times portion that I want to do, I'm going to do a lot of it on green screen with Zach being a wizard and then I have a dragon puppet, which I'll show you here in a second, uh, that I'm going to use. It'll also be part of the medieval dungeon that they go to. Uh, the wizard should then be able to cast a spell which fixes the inside of the, the, the outhouse, which will make the dinosaur bites go away, is, is one of the other goals of going to the medieval times portion. So this is the little dragon that I want in the medieval times section to be in there with Zack as a wizard. 
So I think that if I green screen him and have him talking, and I've also got my animatronic skulls that I can put in the dungeon, and of course Zach as a wizard will just be awesome. So I think uh, those things all green screen together with you know a nice dungeon setting will really uh, make the medieval portion a, a fun portion to to go through. This is Little Sahara State Park. It's up in western Oklahoma. Uh, this would be where we would shoot the Egypt portion of, of the video. Uh, I would then add in, later add in pyramids and stuff in the background, but this is where I thought Morris could go and have a mummy chase after him for a little bit and stuff before he has to get out of this area. Uh, it's an area that's just full of sand dunes, so it'll make it really look nice and authentic that it's that it's ancient Egypt, especially if I put some pyramids and stuff in the background. So this is Rollins Creek. Uh, I'm hoping, I haven't talked to them yet. I'm, if, if I do get funded and I get the full 2500, part of the portion of that money will go to be able to rent out this lot. This is a, a guy who built a bed and breakfast that's an entire old West Town. So for part of the money, I'd like to be able to, to buy uh, the time to go out there and film for a couple hours so that we can have a, a Wild West portion. Uh, I know they have actors out there that will dress up in the full garb and have a full gunfight, so if they could even do that, and I had enough money in the $2,500 budget in order for them to do that, that would be even more intense, have Morris show up in the time machine in the middle of a gunfight. So that would be that would be what I think the the kicker to the end of uh, to the end of this. So that's what I have so far. So I'll let you watch this little test dinosaur footage, and I hope you like it. And I really hope you donate. We're about a fifth of the way there. So uh, thanks for everyone. Thanks to everyone who's donated so far. And if you have donated, get your friends to donate, family to donate, and let's get this thing built. So here's the dinosaur footage.